I guess the next logical question would be, all right, so you are now you're sort of like John shot 2.0 back behind the bar. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What's, what's, what's different now and how do you think about drinks differently? And was this when you started kind of more seriously thinking about non-alcoholic spirits and cocktails? I honestly, in the beginning, wasn't thinking that at all, straight up, because I also didn't want to do anything that was like mimicking um, drinks for myself at home because I was like, I hadn't, I wasn't fully trusting myself yet, to be honest, you know, um, at work, there's people around, I'm busy, you know, I have focus and drive, um, you know, you have to make sure you're strong because at the end of the day, you go back somewhere by yourself, right? So um, I was like, I shouldn't be mixing up stuff at home, right? That's like a, a, a mocktail or anything, just because like, I don't think I'm ready for it yet. So I really shifted my focus on service and hospitality because that's what was bringing me back, right? It even wasn't really even the drinks that was bringing me back. It was the hospitality. It was the people on both sides of the bar. And for a long time, I had actually some guilt about um, how I felt like I had neglected um, people on the other side of the bar, though, because I'm serving myself behind the bar so much, right? And I'm like, well, shit, sorry, <laughs> but you know what I mean? Like, mm. I got to focus on these people. And it was a really great thing that was, li so trying to understand the other people on the other side of the bar, as opposed to being a bartender who's like, they keep asking me dumb questions, you know? How come my guests don't know what these things are, right? And which is like a pretty common thing in the industry, right? And we get, cause it's fun to joke about this stuff post ship, right? Um, but I was like, it's not their job, right? And I probably sound dumb when I'm at my mechanic or something as well, you know? And I hope yeah. that they're not yeah. doing the same to me. So um, just listening to what people are saying on the other side of the bar and, and going from there on building a drink, like, um, and, and and it kind of going into it like I was blind almost because I wasn't tasting. I was doing stuff by nose, classic kind of builds. But then, you know, I was making cordials or making syrups or whatever and tasting those on their own and seeing where the drink might go from there. But giving drinks to people and hearing their feedback about it and doing my builds based on that, it was a really great way to connect with the guests, right? So that was the first and the, thing. I and was these doing. are these are like foolproof builds. These are foolproof builds. They are foolproof. Yeah, so builds. it's you're almost like using sonar at this point, right? So like you you've almost <laughs> taken an entire sense away, and you like ping something out, and then you have to listen for the response that you get back from that, and then you make an make an adjustment yeah. if you need to. But what's the ultimate response, right? It's the guest enjoying it, right? And, and at the end of the day, so I was like, man, I really lost focus on that because it's like about maybe thinking of something other than yourself too is like part of like coming back to this. And that's what hospitality is. You have a team of people you're working with and then a group of people you're serving and you have to have, be considerate of a bunch of other people's thoughts, feelings, emotions, whatever. I think it's what makes restaurant people empathetic and great. So, um, yeah. yeah. So just going based on their reactions to the drink, and like, what am I, instead of making drinks, because before too, I wasn't making drinks and giving them to guests to taste and try necessarily. I was making drinks that I thought were good. And like, that was the end all, you know what I mean? Like, oh, I think this is good. It has my personal stamp of approval on it, done. Um, and that's a selfish way to think about hospitality. You know, that's that's the wrong way. So it, 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 it certainly brought me back around to being a, a better, bartender a, be a better at hospitality for sure too and one of the things that i noticed when uh, back in like 2016 2017 the conversations at places like tales of the cocktail and you know conversations being held at you know like guild meetings stuff like that that's when those conversations started turning really heavily toward hospitality when, you know, we had all figured out how to make all these different, you know, cocktail formats again, uh, you know, the, the hospitality, you know, like the question of what defines a good hospitality experience is, you know, became front and center. And then very soon after that, you saw sort of the, the health and wellness 
questions pop up. So I do think that health and wellness kind of trails along right side, kind of as a sidecar to that, the notion of hospitality. So I, I think, I think your story is, is actually, you know, pretty, pretty in line with kind of the way mm -hmm. that like a, a large portion of the best minds in our industry have been kind of moving. Um, so well, also, but also to jump in, I'm sorry, but the health and wellness also at that time was a big focus on, on the, the staff for the first time, I think the staff themselves, mm -hmm. how the staff are viewed and treated at work. Right. So like mental health for staff, but then that came real quick with like physical health too. Like your mental health can't be just, I go out and I have 10 shots of Fernet. Right. And we forget all the stuff and like for net times with your buddies at work, are great for real you know but also that maybe if i want to be mentally healthy and more happy too there's like some parts of it on our end too that like i should treat myself better you know if i want you know and, and that's the, all those things were happening at the same time which is kind of what yeah. brings us to now dry january 2023 